Because I remember, the, I remember the first time I ever got booked out of state, like 11 years ago or so, I got booked out of state to Colorado. And I remember they just kind of like legalized weed around that time. And I remember I got to Colorado and I was with my cousin. And my cousin Chewy was like, yo, do you want to go pick up some weed? And I was like, yeah. He was like, let's go to this store. So we went to the store and I didn't know anything about weed stores. I got out of the car, immediately went to the alley in the back. You know, I was just chilling. <laughs> It's like, when's this guy showing up, you know? <laughs> He's like, no, man, we're gonna go in the store. I was like, we're gonna go in the store? He's like, yeah. I was like, we're gonna buy weed in the store? He's like, you never bought weed in the store? I'm like, a couple times my dude has met me in the frozen pizza aisle, you know, just <laughs> convenience. So we get up into the store and it's like this beautiful like Apple store vibe. It's all like white with monitors everywhere. And it's just beautiful. And this girl comes up to the counter and I remember she was a white girl with dreads. And anytime I see a white girl with dreads, I'm like, damn, I hope she works it out with her dad. And so, <laughs> somebody here shaking his head, she won't. <laughs> Just call me Clarice. <laughs> but this girl comes up to the counter and she's like, hey, I'm Dakota, I'm gonna be your weed concierge. And I'm like, my what? And she's like, I'm gonna help you with buying weed. I was like, oh shit, you're gonna go half? That's what's up, man. <laughs> Good looks, D, you know? She's like, no, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you questions to help you pick the perfect weed. And I was like, okay. And she was like, like, what kind of effects are you looking for? I was like, I don't know. She's like, okay, what kind of mood do you want to be in? I was like, I don't, I don't know. She's like, all right, Miguel. She's like, well, how do you want your body to feel? And I was like, I, Dakota, I don't know. And she's like, nobody's ever asked you questions before when you're trying to buy weed? I was like, Dakota, all the time, usually, are you a cop? You know? <laughs> Some butt naked with a fucking 357 in my face, like, you know I'm not, Raul. We cousins, this is getting old, man. <laughs> but she goes, all right, Miguel, she's like, just describe your perfect scenario that you want this weed for. I said, all right, Dakota, real talk. What do you have that goes with a box of zebra cakes and Netflix? <laughs> she says, follow me. <laughs> Takes me through the store, right? This store is amazing. It's amazing, I've never been in a weed store before. It's like I'm walking through like Charlie, Ch Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. You know, I'm just sitting there. She's like floating. She's like, come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. It was so much like Willy Wonka's uh, Chocolate Factory. There was like a little midget in the corner with a broom mopping and he was like, oompa doompa doompa dee dope. If you don't buy that weed, I could sell you some Coke. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> So she takes me to the back, right? She brings out this like box. She opens it up and she shows me this thing and it's a moon rock, right? I didn't know what a moon rock was. Yeah. Yeah, she explains to me, she's like, we take uh, one of our highest medical strain weeds, uh, we dip it in oil, we roll it in keef, we dip it in wax, we roll it in weed keef again. I said, oh, okay, fentanyl, word, word. <laughs> that shit's really fucking my neighborhood up, but all right. <laughs> she gives me this moon rock, and I smoke it, and I get to the hotel that I'm supposed to be performing at and it's way too early for the show. So they're trying to like give me, first of all, they tripping out when I showed up because on the poster I'm Puerto Rican, but I showed up Filipino as fuck. You know, like. <laughs> and they're like, hey man, your room's not ready and the show's not till later, but if you want, we could send you out on an excursion. I'm like, out there? <sighs> I just got in here. They're like, no man, they're like check it out. They're like, would you like to go on a hot air balloon ride? I said, what? Let me explain something to you guys if you don't know. When you're fat, you avoid wicker on the ground, you know? <laughs> Anytime I'm at a barbecue and there's a wicker chair, I'm just floating above it like this for the first 45 minutes. Put a little ass cheek in a little bit, that's it. So I'm like, hell no. So then she goes, do you want to go tubing? I was like, oh. I've been living in Florida at this point for like 15 years. So I go tubing all the time. And in Florida, there's two ways you tube. One, your friend's got a boat, ties a rope onto it, ties a tube, an inner tube onto it, and you guys bounce around the lake holding on until you fall off, tons of fun. The other way is you get this inner tube, you tie another inner tube onto it, you put like a cooler of beers in that one, 
You go down this crystal clear spring river, you smoke a little joint, you play a game called, is that a log or an alligator? <laughs> you can only lose that game once. <laughs> so when they asked me, you wanna go tubing? I said, hell yeah, because I thought it was one of those. It wasn't. They were talking about white water rafting. And I didn't know, and I should have known, because I showed up and they started handing everybody helmets. But I just thought somebody on the raft was special needs and this was solidarity, you know? <laughs> then I started thinking maybe they think I'm special needs. I'm like, oh shit. I have been really quiet and staring at those dogs, you know? So they get us on this raft and I'm not paying attention to shit. And I should be, but I'm just real high. And they're like giving everybody the rules of what to do. And they're pointing at everybody. And it sounds really important, but I'm just... I'm staring off in the distance because I saw these mountain goats and I've never seen a mountain goat before. And they were like, like a cross between a sheep and a wizard, you know? <laughs> They're walking sideways on the wall like David Bowie and Labyrinth, you know? <laughs> Your eyes can be so cruel. I was like, <laughs> so I'm not paying attention to anything. And finally, the skipper of the boat, he's like, Miguel, did you catch that? And I don't want to slow the process down for everybody. So I'm like, got it. But I didn't get it. So at some point we're cruising down the raft, we're going down this white water rapids and stuff like that. It's not like crazy rapids, but we're bouncing around. And uh, at one point, the dude in front of me bounces out of the raft and gets into the water. And I'm like, oh shit. But then bam, everybody springs into action, right? They're like throwing a lasso, they're doing this. He's the skipper of the boat, pointing at everybody, telling them what to do. I'm like, hell yeah. But then he looks at me, he's like, Miguel, do your thing now. And I'm like, <laughs> Is he talking about comedy? Because this ain't the time. Like, when we get back on the bus, I'll do a hot five. I promise, guys. But... No, man, I messed it all up. Everybody's staring at me. It was horrible, because then the dude went right, and our raft went left, and it was all quiet. And I'm just like staring at my phone, pretending like I didn't kill a guy, you know? I'm like getting on Twitter, like people are gonna say some crazy shit about me killing somebody, but. That did not happen. Hashtag Colorado District Attorney. I'll make a deal. You know? <laughs> first to tweet it, first to beat it, you know? <laughs> so we, luckily, we reconvene. The skipper lassos the dude, pulls me back on the boat, bam. And then skipper's up on me afterwards because I'm buying the pictures because I'm still going to get these damn pictures. Like, it was beautiful. And uh, skipper's coming up to me. He's like, what the hell was that? I was like, I don't, I don't know. He's like, what the hell was that? He said, bro, you said you knew how to raft. He said, you, knew, you said you knew how to tube. I said, no, 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 no. I said, I said, I knew tubing. You never brought up rafting. I said, you said tubing. He's like, you should have known. I said, I didn't know. I said, because I think tubing is one thing and you think tubing is another. I said, I don't do rafts. I'm Puerto Rican, not Cuban. I said, <laughs> I said if I was Cuban, I would have done this shit on a door holding the baby, you know? Like, you lied to me, motherfucker.